If I were to do the chord progression A, D, E with A as chord 1, D as chord 4 and E as chord 5, it would be like this. So that's the chord progression you'd use for Twist and Shout or for La Bamba. If I wanted the chord progression not to go down on the E, I could make the E go higher by playing the A here, as usual, the D here, and then using the D shape two frets higher to fourth fret to make another E chord. So then I would go. Another way I would have of playing those three chords is if I took a G shape, which would be putting my bar across the bottom four strings with my fourth finger on first string on fifth fret. That would give me an A using a G shape. The two chords then that would go with that would be a C shape on two. I'm only going to use the bottom of the C shape here, not the bottom two strings. So I could go G shape, C shape, C shape on fret four. Another way I've got of playing those three chords yet again is I could take the E shape on fret five over all six strings, which would give us my standard bar chord of the chord A. And then I would use an A shape for chord four and chord five. Another way I could voice that is by using a D shape on fret 9. So there's my E chord at the bottom. Using the first three strings that would give me an A as a D shape. I'd need the G shape to complement that with chord 4 and chord 5 on fret 7 and fret 9, like this. And finally I can even find another one if I used a C shape on fret 9 That C shape there, using a bar over the first four strings, and then the bottom part of the C shape would give me an A. And then I would use an F shape on fret 10 and fret 12. So see if I can do that. So there's six ways of playing uh, A, D and E as a progression. Probably six more than you actually wanted. But again, to go through them very quickly, I've got at the bottom A, E,
So there's something for you to think about.